Okay, so now we need to make this look less horrifying. Um, it currently looks like this, which is creepy. So <laughs> before we get started on that, I'm gonna go into x-ray shading. That lets me see through. That's gonna help when selecting things. I'm also going to go up to display polygons and custom polygon display. From this menu, I'm gonna turn on back face culling. What that does is it hides, so you can see it's hiding what's not directly in our vision and directly facing us. And it's doing that so that we don't accidentally select the behind parts while we're selecting the in front parts. Um, it's very easy to select things that are in the back when you don't mean to. And right now we're only working on the face. So I'm actually going to, since I have back face calling on, I'm just going to go so you guys can see better and turn off x-ray. Um, but I still have back face calling on, so you can still see that in action. And we're going to move these vertices around. So I'm going to right click and make sure I'm in vertex mode. And so we're going to pull out the eyes so that they have a little bit more humanoid roundness to them. I'm going to keep the base approximately where it is and I'm going to um, grab now I'm sh marquee selecting by clicking and dragging. I'm going to move over and to move these out a little bit and I'm pulling all the way inside to open up that whole hole the entire hole. So marquee select again and pull outward. Oops. Let's go to this side. And it looks like I have a little weirdness here. I'm going to kind of clean that up. I'm going to move these up as well. Let me get that guy too. Bring that up. So again, this is going to just take a little bit of time. Bring that down. Bring that down. Just trying to clean this guy up. I want to make sure that this is forward enough as well. A little bit's okay. So I'm going to grab that. So it's I kind of want this to be a little bit closer to the model. So if we turn on x-ray shading, we can line it up with him and kind of see where we're at. So if we get the nose, I'm going to just go in a front view here and see what we're looking at here. So right now it's kind of twisted. I need to straighten that back up. It's actually gonna move oops, these guys over. It's gonna be super easy to make a mess at this point, especially in the view that we're in. It's really hard to tell the dimensionality of it right now. Trying to make a gaping hole in his face. Um, so it looks like you may even need it bigger. Giant eyeballs, this guy. Again, I'm using the arrows because I want to be careful about where I'm moving it instead of using the center. And that shadow is just showing us the depth. I 
kind of want it to match. I can always go and get those guys again. Um, by going into a different view. weirdness. I'm going to go back out and figure out what that's about there. Oh yeah. Let's see. I'm going to turn on regular shading so I can really see what's poking through. Alright, so we had a vertex that moved a little bit funky. Let me move that. All right, just keep tweaking it up a bit. Okay, so I think we're having an issue with that. That needs to come back out to meet the eye here. Maybe that should go back a bit. Because we're just we're making that edge around the eye. I might scoot these down. Now something is going on here. That is his face. There we go. So I want to make sure that that is not in his eyeball. That would be very, very bad for this gentleman. All right, let me scoot that down a little bit. So you can change modes to kind of get a feel for where you're at. You should always be looking around. Again, because you may have issues with the geometry. You know, I'm just gonna pull these all three down just a tad. All right, so that gives him a nice eye socket. And let's fix up his mouth a little bit. Gonna angle it. Um, he's a very robot-y robot right now. Robot. Do not want him to be a robot. Just cleaning up. I wanna bring these in too. Let's see. Give him a little pucker. Even bring these down. See, that's the back, that's the front. So you make sure you have that dimensionality there. So you're gonna make sure that you're grabbing what you need to grab. And whoop, it's stuck there. There we go. All right. Fix the outside now. Bring that thing in a little bit. Again, using the arrows. Cleaning it up. Giving him thinner lips. So let's round him out, see what he looks like. Oops. Let's not do that. Hit <laughs> for. Mm. Still a little freaky. I might move that mouth down, just all of it down, just a little bit. It's kind of has this weird upper mouth going on. The proportions aren't the right, they're not in the right place. Let me just grab all of it and scooch it down. Again, I can look at, let me go in my front view. Um, 
a little bit hard with the perspective in that the drawing is behind us, but all right, I might take that in a little bit as well. Mm. Yeah, it's not, not bad. All right, so we cleaned up the mouth. We're gonna clean up, let me straighten this just a little bit, clean up the um, eyes, and then we're going to make the nose and the ears to give him just a little bit more to go on. I'll help him look a little less, a little less scary he has some facial features. Just straightening these up. Lining that up there. All right. All right. See you next video.